you are a fan of technology, you may heard the term full stack developer several times. However, you will be surprised to learn that in today's tech market, there is an increase in demand for a full stack developer who can take full stack development to a whole new level. But before that, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest tech content from Edureka. Also visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the agenda of today's session. This session will cover topics such as full stack developer roadmap, what is full stack development, who is a full stack developer, front end and back end web development, and the necessary additional skills. Now without any further delay, let's get started. Full stack developer roadmap. Full stack developer have recently been in high demand. As technology develops, the demand for a skilled developer who can handle both front end and back end programming will increase. Companies increasingly depend on digital platform, making them valuable asset for those seeking to create complex website. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment for a web developer including the full stack developer is expected to grow 13% between 2020 to 2030, which is the faster than the average growth rate of all occupation and it is expected to continue to be stronger in the upcoming years. Full stack developer have a wide range of career option, including working in software engineering, mobile development, web development, and in many more industry. Full stack developer can also earn affordable salary. In India, the average salary of a full stack developer is 6 lakhs to 10 lakhs per annum. While in USA, the average salary is between $71,000 to $100,000. This statistic show how in demand of full stack developer are in global IT industry. If you like to work in full stack web development industry, enroll in our master program. The Edureka's full stack web developer online course will teach you how to create interactive and open web application with both front end and back end technology. The full stack developer course syllabus begins with the fundamentals of web development covering the JavaScript and jQuery guides you through the creation of stunning user interface with React, assist you in creation of scalable backend application with Express and Node.js, and manages data with MongoDB. As you have understood the full stack developer roadmap, let's move on to what is full stack development. Full stack development is a method of developing both front end, client side, and back end server side components of web application. A full stack developer is capable of working on both front end, which is the part of all application in which user interact, and the back end, the server, application, and the database that power the front end. Below is the breakdown of the responsibilities related to each part, which is front end development, back end development, database management. Now we will discuss about who is a full stack developer. A full stack developer is a flexible professional who is skilled in both front end and back end web development. They are capable of working on all the aspects of the web application, including the user interface design and the client side functionality implementation, as well as server side logic, database, and server infrastructure management. Full stack developers are web developers jack of all trades, capable of taking projects from idea to completion on their own or as a part of the team. Now you have understood what and who is a full stack developer, let's move on to the main topic, front end web development. What steps can be taken to become a front end web developer and what technologies are required to achieve the status of a skilled front end web developer? Front end web developer technologies are the tools and languages used to design the user interface and implement client side functionality for web application. Here are some of the important front-end technologies. First is HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. is a standard markup language for structuring web page content. It specifies the element and layout of page structure, which includes heading, paragraph, list, image, link, and many more. Next, we have CSS, Cascading Style Sheet. Styles the HTML element defined in the markup. It manages the presentation, layout and the design of web pages including the color, font, spacing and responsiveness to different sizes. Lastly, we have JavaScript. JavaScript is a flexible programming language that adds interactive and dynamic behavior to the web pages. 
It enables developer to manipulate HTML and CSS elements, manage user events, perform calculation, and send requests to servers. Now, we will move on to front-end frameworks and libraries. First, we have React.js, developed by Facebook. It's a popular JavaScript library for creating user interfaces. It enables developers to create reusable UI components while efficiently managing the application state. Next, we have Angular. Angular is a complete front-end framework developed by Google. It includes tools and features for creating large-scale, single-page application that uses modular architecture and two-way data binding. Lastly, we have Vue.js. It is a growing JavaScript framework known for its simplicity and adaptability. It enables developers to implement its features and easily connect with the existing projects gradually. Next is Responsive Design. Front-end developers use media queries and flexible lines to ensure web applications adapt to different devices and screen size, such as desktop, tablet, and smartphone. Next is Build a Portfolio. Building a portfolio is an essential phrase for showcasing your skills, experience, and project to potential employees or client in the field of web development. Then we have Keep Updated on Market Trends. Staying updated on market trends is important for any web developers to remain affordable and relevant in the ever-evolving field of technology. Lastly, work on projects. Working on project is not only a great way to apply or promote your existing skill, but also an effective method of learning new technologies and gaining practical experiences. Now, we will move on to the salary for a front-end web developer. The average salary for a front-end web developer in India is 4 lakh to 8 lakhs per year. And in USA, it is $62,000 to $97,000. Now you have a clear picture about the front-end web development. Let's move on to the discussion about back-end web development. Back-end web development entails creating and maintaining the server-side logic, database, and the infrastructure that supports web applications. This procedure focuses on database, website architecture, and scripting. It will be in charge of connecting to the database and transferring data to the front-end for presentation to the user once prepared, among other tasks. Backend code merges, filters, or otherwise modifies data as it is retrieved from the database. Now, we will learn about server-side programming language. First is Node.js is a popular server-side JavaScript runtime environment that enables developers to create scalable and high-performance web application with JavaScript. Then we have Python. is a widely used for back-end development due to its simplicity, readability, and extensive framework ecosystem. Lastly, Java is a powerful and flexible language that is frequently used in enterprise-level back-end development with frameworks such as Spring Boot providing extensive features for creating scalable application. Next, learn about database. Database is a fundamental component of most modern application for storing and managing data. So everyone involved in web development must understand them. Some of the databases are MySQL and MongoDB. Then we have learn about frameworks. Backend frameworks or server-side frameworks are software frameworks that serves as a foundation for creating and installing server-side application. Here's a list of some popular frameworks for various programming language. First is Node.js, Python, and PHP. Then we have understand about APIs. API, Application Programming Interface, is a set of rules and protocols that enables multiple software applications to communicate with each other using web APIs and REST. And lastly, we have improving problem solving skills, understanding problems, gathering information, planning your approach, starting with what you know, debugging and testing, breaking down complex problems, and knowledge expansion are all steps in developing problem solving skills. Now, we will move on to the salary for a back end web developer. The average salary for a back-end web developer in India is 5 lakhs to 11 lakhs per year. And in USA, it ranges from $66,000 to $100,000.
I hope now you have a clear understanding about front end web development and back end web development. Now let us discuss about the additional skills required for a full stack developer. Knowing technologies and programming language on a full stack developer roadmap is excellent. Here are some of the additional skills that will help you understand the stack more thoroughly. First is data structure and algorithms. There is nothing more important than understanding the core algorithm and how data is organized in a computer system. A full stack developer must understand a wide range of data structure, including the arrays, trees, and linked lists. Next, we have Git. Is a free and open source distributed version control system capable of handling projects ranging from small to very large. According to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey conducted in 2018, over 87% of the developers use GRIT. Next, we have machine learning. Is an out of stock concept. There is something known as machine learning full stack developer. Machine learning developers understand and are familiar with each stack of web technologies used to solve the problems, allowing them to improve the architecture and scalability of their machine learning service. Lastly, we have character encoding. If you want to be a full stack developer, you must probably heard of a term UTF-8. Most developers understand the basics of encoding and their differences. Becoming a full stack developer and learning these technologies and skills may be challenging, but it is well worth the effort. With the growing market demand for a full stack developers and changing tech industry trends, every aspiring tech student wishes to pursue their career in this field. This full stack developer roadmap have helped you understand the steps to become a full stack developer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!